Keith Ackner is on a slight vacation somewhere in New Jersey, New Jersey right? Yeah. We have Glenn Burns with us who uh, does the weather all throughout the week, and he has consented to come in and do it for us this weekend. Sure. Before you get into the weather, I've got to commend you on the outstanding footage that you showed on that oh. uh, on the Skylab thing. Where did you get that? I got that from a friend of mine who was an astronaut, Colonel Al Warden, yeah, you Apollo did, 11. You did a program with him. Right, right. So he's been a good help. On and tonight, what have you got for us on that? Well, we're going to look at the chances of you getting hit, and right now, the chances of you getting hit are about equal to winning the Irish sweepstakes. Yeah, but it really is a very serious thing. That thing yes, is going to come down somewhere. It's going to hit something some along, somewhere along the way. The latest NORAD computer puts it at 1028 Wednesday morning. Well, we'll all be watching. We'll wait okay. and see. And anyway, today, not very good. In fact, uh, after today's weather, I was told to take a long walk off a very short pier, and that's exactly what I seem to be getting tonight. A lot of hazy skies, gray skies today. This is a warm front currently moving through the Twin cities and by tomorrow afternoon should be out of the way leaving temperatures in here in the lower 90s and we also have a good chance of getting a thunderstorm here tomorrow the air is very humid and with the heating that goes on all day with the earth uh, there's a very good chance of getting a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon right now though it the sun's been trying to come out it's 81 degrees the dew point temperature very moist air 64 degrees our high today was 81 the overnight low last night was 67 humidity at 56 percent barometer falling as the cold as the warm front approaches we have a southerly wind at 12 miles per hour here's what that cold front around the warm front, I keep saying cold front, and we're so used to getting them in here. The warm front now moving through Minnesota, I think it stretches all the way down into eastern Kansas. Now right here, you see a very big thunderstorm. This thunderstorm produced very large hail today as it's moving into western Missouri, and it's a very large one producing quite a bit of rain. But you see the clear spot in behind here over the Dakotas. It was beautiful today all day, sunny skies, and we'll have those sunny skies in store for us tomorrow. Right now, storm surge radar scans out in the 125 mile range, and we just have some light, light precipitation echoes occurring around the western sections of Wisconsin over into the northern suburbs of Minneapolis, but nothing really to write home about at this point. Low temperatures from last night with cloudy skies all night. It was 60 degrees up at International Falls, 62 over at Fargo-Moorhead, 60 in Duluth, 65 in St. Cloud, 69 degrees down in Redwood Falls and Rochester last night. It was 60 degrees. Well, as Stan mentioned to you, the southeast definitely not the place to be today. The Tennessee Valley flooding like you wouldn't believe. The streams are overflowing. They've had so much rain in the past three to four days that it's really getting to be uh, quite a chore for these people trying to keep up with all the rain that is falling. And the rains continue today, and they went up on through Kansas. They had the hail and all kinds of severe weather, a severe weather watch, severe storm watch, in effect, for parts of western Missouri and eastern Kansas all this afternoon. In fact, it's continuing on right now, but further to the west, the sun comes out, and it's just beautiful. Here's where things will stand tomorrow night at 6 o'clock news time. As we look at the forecast map, we'll see the uh, majority of the shower activity should be confined to the northeastern sections of the state, with the heavier stuff still continuing along the southeast, but high pressure is now building, so we'll be in store for some fair skies, and we'll be also be watching this next system to come out of the Pacific Northwest, but that's a long way off. Our forecast for tonight calling for cloudy skies, low tonight 65 to 70 degrees. For tomorrow, well, it'll become mostly sunny in the afternoon and very, very warm. Highs tomorrow, 85 to 90. For boaters and fishermen, southerly winds at 10 to 15. Lakes will have a light shop. If you fish by the barometer, you'll have a slow rise, and the daylight begins at 5 o'clock and ends at 9.35. Extended forecast, sunny and warm, right on through Wednesday. Okay, Glenn, thank you very much, and now it's time for our annual, our annual weekend feature, People in the News with Nancy Nelson. Well, Stan, we like to get the really sad stuff out of the way right off. Yeah, I understand you have yeah. something about Marie Osmond. Yeah, really a heartbreaker. 19-year-old <laughs> Marie Osmond announced her engagement to actor Jeff Creighton only a few weeks ago. This week, she announced her unengagement to actor Jeff Creighton, <laughs> saying marriage is a serious thing you don't want to fool around with. We had doubts, so we called it off. And it seems Dolly Parton is real short on common sense. She had signed a contract with her former singing partner, Porter Wagner, in 1970, indicating that Wagner would receive, and get this, 15% of her royalties for an indefinite period of time, and 15% of her net income for five years if she left his show. She did leave his show in 1974. Now Wagner is suing her for $3 million, or a percentage of her income, since their breakup. Rock star Mick Jagger's estranged wife, Bianca, toured a crowded refugee center in her native Managa, Managua, Nicaragua this week. She said what she saw put her in a state of shock. She told reporters, the poor things, they don't even know what they're going to eat tomorrow.
Last week, when I was in New York, I spent some time with Stephen Rubel. He's the owner of the internationally famous Studio 54 Disco. Rubel was voted least likely to succeed when he graduated from high school. Well, today Rubel's a millionaire. But last week, aha, he was indicted along with a business, business associate on federal income tax charges. The IRS alleges that Rubel and the friend skimmed from the receipts of his discotheque to the tune of $2.5 million. Singer Joan Baez has created controversy throughout her entire career. During the Vietnamese War, she was an outspoken opponent of the United States' involvement there. Most recently, she's been talking about the violation of human rights in Vietnam. The irony of it all, says Baez, is that during the war, she was labeled a communist. Now, some are suggesting that she's been hired by the CIA to help discredit the Hanoi government. Tell you, Stan, a girl with an opinion just can't win. I guess what goes around comes around. Okay, Nancy, thank you very much. While the twins were having some bad luck on Lake Erie today...